Hey everyone, if you are using Integromat and you are having trouble with adding variables to each other and you get some really weird results on that, then you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you will know how to solve these problems. My name is Dominic Lienert. Let's get right into it. What we will look at in this video is adding variables. So what you would expect if you add two variables, each variable has the value 100. So if you add these two variables, you would expect the result is gonna be 200. But if what you're getting is actually you add 100 and you add 100, so you're adding these two variables, and then the result is 100 plus 100, then you're in the right place. And by the end of this video, you will know how to resolve this. Let's jump over to Integromat and have a look. So in Integromat, we have a very simple example for this scenario. So what we do is we have a Example JSON, we read in some information and then we want to add some variables. So here we have the total number of people we want to aggregate. So we have a number of students, which is 100, and we have a number of teachers, which is 100. So what we would expect is if we add these together, so as you can see here in the variable value, if we add the students and the teachers, the number of students and the number of teachers together, we would expect the result to be 200, right? So if we run this and the result is 100 plus 100, that doesn't really make sense. So the problem here is, which often happens if you read a JSON and you haven't set the variable types correctly, is that these variables are of the type string. So these are, so you can see that this is the JSON string. You have the number of students, which is 100 and the number of teachers, which is 100, but these are actual string variables. So they are not numbers, but they are strings. So if we look into the data structure, if we look in here, you can see that the type of the of the data structure is text. So one thing you can do, you can either change the type of the data structure here. So you can actually go edit and make that a number, but maybe that is not practical for you. Maybe you have to keep it as a text and you can't change that there. So then there's other options you can do to add this. So as you can see in here, we calculate the total number of people we wanna have. So as you would expect, we just take the number of students, we add that with the number of teachers and we would expect it to just throw out 100, right? Uh, sorry, 200, right? So if we check that, it actually puts out 100 plus 100. The problem here is that it's a string, it's formatted as a string. So if we look in here, what we want to do is we want to use a specific function and we want to use the sum function. So what this function does, so we put in sum, and then we just put in however, ma however many values we want to add together. We want to sum up and this that's it. So what this function will do is it will automatically, also if you hover over the variable, you can see that it's a text variable. So it will automatically transform the text variable into a number, and then it will add these two numbers together. So let's run that and see if it does what we want it to do. We run it and the result is 200, that's it. So this is how you can add multiple variables together if they are formatted as a string and you're having trouble adding these together. If you don't wanna use, if you don't want to change the JSON, you use the sum function. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want a specific video or a specific question you want to have answered, you can put that in the comments as well. Also, if you wanna help me do these videos and stay caffeinated doing these videos, feel free to buy me a coffee below as well as if you are looking to discuss a specific scenario you're working on right now or you're looking for someone to build automations for you, you can also feel free to reach out to me anytime you feel you can buy me a coffee below that allows me to put aside some time on my calendar and we can sit down and have a Zoom call and talk about the automations you're looking to do. My name is Dominic Lienert. Take care and goodbye.